Hey guys, it's your boy Chief here, coming back at you with another day of fishing, part four in our Let's Play series of Fishing the Barren Sea. So we'll continue here. I was doing a little reading on the forums. <coughs> Tip, fast traveling uses mo up more fuel, plus 50%. Interesting. Also, fast traveling does not count towards your your goal to get unlock the kilometers you need to unlock the next boat, so you actually have to do it manually. Um, let me turn this down. I don't know how the volume got to stick up. Um, so, yeah, you have to do that manually. Also, um, there was a couple other things that I read. Also, turning on your motor and off your motor, uh, I guess uses, if you use the X key, returns you to neutral on your um, throttle. And if you hit X again, apparently that turns off your motor. So, there's that. There's another one. I, I'll have to remember one on getting um <clears throat> get going here all right anyway so we sold last time we sold our our stuff um see that's what's weird unbaited baited long unbaited baited okay so i guess you have to buy those lines every time uh so when i go for a krill again i think I got krill. Oh. shrimp uh -huh. wait let's go back to the map for a sec Shrimp was the most expensive. I guess we can afford it because 15, 15, and 3. It costs us 6,000 basically. Oh, no. Um, that kind of stinks. You can't bring up your. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, can I bring up. Oh, actually, we did this wrong. We want to look at. The fish market, we want to look at. Here and then we go. Right, the redfish are. They like the krill, right? So, <coughs> fifteen hundred each. So right, like I said, that's six thousand. So we'll go back here to the map real quick. Uh, species, redfish again. Okay, the redfish are kind of dying out in that area. So this is going to be our spot. Let's set a waypoint right here while we're. There, and then we'll remove one. Remove this waypoint, we'll create a path that crosses land. Okay. Remove all waypoints, all of that. Okay. That's weird. I don't know what the hell they meant by that. Okay. <coughs> okay, so we got that set. Let's sit down. We're going to go back into the market, buy some. Baited fish, krill. Uh, see, I don't know what these are. Bait, buy, oh, no. buy a one thousand dollar, one thousand meter hook long line for forty thousand. A one thousand meter. Ooh, I bought for. What the hell I bought? I'm still confused about that. All right. What happened to our, did we get our lines back from before, or we, you have to buy that every single time? Wait, but then this, well, this says buy, buy a 250 meter, so I guess they're saying when you have to travel between buoys is, ah, that's confusing. 10,000, you're going to tell me it costs you 40,000 to rig every time, or not, 16,000 to rig up every time? That would be bizarre to me. Um, anyway, all right, let's uh, let's go out. I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's confusing. I know. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. Plus uh, three hole damage. I'm gonna do some repairs. Keep smashing into this damn dock. So. Right, like I was saying before, apparently it takes, um, it takes, you know, you have to do all your traveling manually if you want to get, uh, if you want to unlock your next certifications for your next boat. So, I'll probably do that manually driving around offline. So you guys, I mean, I, I don't want to bore you with that to death. You know, that's going to be 
not fun to sit there. I wish I could do this. See, it takes so long to swing this around. Oh yeah, look at that. And then there's the boats off. Cool. That's how you shut off the boat so you don't have to listen to it all the time. X, hit X to bring it to neutral, and X again to shut it off. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I spotted that. Insane. Reading the forms sometimes is very helpful. We're on the range of that. Let's see if we can fast travel. Um, no, no, no. Nope, something's blocking our path. Okay. We gotta get around this. Because I guess the way the cut was that we're headed into was wrong. That's okay. <laughs> <coughs> Once we get out of the brick wall, we'll be okay. So apparently the unlocks for other upgrades rather for your boat do not stack so you know but you need to buy them in order you can't get like go right to a level three engine upgrade you need to buy one then two then three of course but they don't stack so whatever the power upgrade is for those which is unfortunate i thought it was going to stack each time <laughs> it's pretty crazy um yeah, like, that's what I was saying before. I was like, man, if we get all that going, we'll be at 25 knots before you know it. Um, but, you know, it doesn't stack, so that's that. So. But it's okay. I I'm curious to see what a level 3. I probably won't even bother. I probably would worry about that on our next ship. I wouldn't. You know, because I, I don't really understand the whole fishing lines thing yet, but we made it, I think I made a huge mistake with that, buying those lines. I'm not sure, though. Right, see, so now we didn't get, we used 50% more gas to do that, and we didn't even get, uh, there's our, uh, buoys, by the way. Oh, we didn't set any buoys yet. Huh. All right. All right, so hit X, close the neutral. Get our gear out. Set a line. Boom. Oh, that would travel us up there. That's cool. A little cheaty right there. That's the way to do it. So you don't have to go creepy crawly. You, you drop that line right when you're when you're rolling, and you'll, before you know it, you'll be at 25 again. You'll be able to set your next line. There. Boom. But see now, it still says we have. to stop me from setting more lines right now. Ah. Uh, wow, dude. I have no idea what's going on here. Here goes another line. Okay, so we ended up with... Did the cane derp out or something? Did I... I'm really confused now. We're gonna end up with six lines. Sounds fine to me. Let's do that. That sounds like a lot of fish. I hope I can fit it all. All right, we're good. We're money. We got six lines out right now. All right. Um. Well, we do have to kill a little time, so I guess we're not. Oh, we're still set for it. What the hell? Now I'm really confused. <laughs> we got four buoys out? Ay, 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 I don't know what the hell we're doing now. That doesn't make sense. I thought I bought four. I'm thinking the hooks and the buoys are separate altogether. It would seem 250 hooks per buoy set, but that doesn't... Maybe that's not a thing. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I guess I got to read on that and see what I can figure out for that. Because, uh, got me. I'm all I'm confused. I don't know. Anyway, um, all right, so I guess we'll head back in. We gotta waste time because those gotta sit for 20 hours, which is interesting. 20 hours it takes those to get hooked up? That seems like a lot of time scrolling around. I'm gonna, I guess we'll drive back in. I don't know. Waste a little time that way, I guess. I hate to leave you guys hanging, but I'll talk to you while we're doing it. Uh, 
the good news is we're traveling at a nice 11 top speed. Uh, a little speed here. Oh, because we're turning. Right. So we want to head. Where do we head? Oh, back over here. Poop. <coughs> it's down here. This is all cool. Let's look at the map. Let's have a look while we're cruising. Dock over here. Dock over here. Wow. Whoa! There's a dock over here, dock over there. There's docks all over the place. Some kind of open. Oh, there's the open water. You want to go out there and get uh, you get jacked up. I wonder if there's fish down like in these valleys and coves down here. It's kind of cool, kind of neat. I would definitely go check that out on one of our trips that we have to. Uh... Oh, we barely. Oh, I forgot. Maybe we're not moving. Oh yeah, we are. Right along. All right, so yep, now we're heading the right way. We're actually headed eastish. I think. I actually want to get off this. Uh, go to the, the outside and have control of the thing. Okay, and I still can't see crap all over. I, mean, I guess you could. I want it to be like real life. The real life. Uh, Uh, boating, boating, yachting, and tubing. That's what we used to say all the time. Boating, yachting, and tubing. I don't know why. Me and my friends, when we were younger, and we had boats, and we were... Oh, man. I just loved it. It was so much fun, dude. Riding around. I used to have a jet ski, too. That was a lot of fun, dude. What's, what is that in front of me? Is that a... What the hell is that? Sticks sticking out over? <laughs> what the hell are those? Sharks? Whales? Orcas, they look like. Hmm. Well, that's cool. I like that. That's neat. <clears throat> what was I saying about my friends? Oh, I used to have a jet ski, too. I used to jet ski, like, almost every day. Man, I was so addicted to it. I had a Kawasaki, uh... I forgot which one exactly, but, uh... It was the fastest production year for the year I bought it, and it was real fast. It did like 70 on the water, it was sick. And uh, me and my buddy, one of my best friends, we <coughs> we bought two two jet skis together. He bought the Honda with a turbo, and I bought a Kawasaki, because I really like Kawasaki. So I've been riding my whole life, so. Um, yeah, he bought that, and, uh, and I bought the, the, the Kawasaki, and that was a two-stroke, and his was a four-stroke. They were both about equally fast. I, mine took off faster than his out of the hole because his turbo took time to wind up, you know? But, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we, we'd get about neck and neck eventually. As, as soon as his turbo started kicking, he would catch up to me because I'd kill him out of the hole, and he'd catch up, and we'd be going about 70, 71, 72 miles. Depending on how flat the water was, we'd be about neck and neck. So they were both about the same speed. Um those jet skis. It was a lot of fun, though. We used to, we used to cruise around, jump in waves. And, oh, man, it was awesome. Back in those days, back in the day, back in the day when I lived in Florida, it was really cool. Missed those days, but... But, yeah, cruising around boats, man. Awesome. It's just like a... Uh, I tell you, when you have your own boat and you're out there cruising, you just feel free. Like, a, a feeling of freedom, you know? Like, there's no traffic. Well, there's traffic. I lived in Florida. There was a lot of traffic down there. I'm saying in the... It was called the Intercoastal, where I used to live down in South Florida. And you used to travel through that stuff. Sorry. Um, you used to travel through that. And that had some traffic, especially on the weekends. But And you had to kind of go slow. But once you're out, like, on the ocean and cruising around, you used to have this feeling of freedom that you just do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. It just... I don't know. It's hard to explain when you... If you ever rode on a boat or had a had a boat in your lifetime, you might have felt that same way. I know I did. It was pretty cool. I tell you, man, when you look at this map, it looks, looks like it was taking you like 10 years to get back to the dock. Like, is the boat even moving on this map? Sure doesn't look like it. Nope, it ain't. I mean, you can see the shoreline and stuff. We're definitely getting closer to shore. 
you know, it's not like we're going away from shore, we're coming into shore, so. And there's the break wall right there. Yeah, they gotta. Kind of stinks you have to go in. You should be able to spend a night on your boat, waste some time, you know, um, have that clock while you're out in the water. You don't. It's not necessary to come all the way into shore just to, uh, to kill a little time. If I set my. If I set buoys down to catch some fish, I would probably stay out there all night long. Because, for one, you got thieves. That thieves. They'll come by and steal your fish if you're not out there. I mean, I don't know how, how it is in where we're in Norway or whatever, but, uh, you know, around here, you know, you put out lobster traps. People come out and they'll steal your, they'll steal your, your they'll empty your traps for you. <laughs> so, I mean, and, uh, you know, fishermen take that seriously. I mean, you get shot doing something like that, but, you know, it's, it's a possibility. But what's the point of going all the way back in the shore just to chill out? You could just chill out on your boat, you know, bring food with you, sleep out on the boat, get up the next morning and pull your traps in. <clears throat> you know, that seems reasonable, like, a, uh, you know, you set your traps, I guess, it is kind of a long time, though, 20 hours to wait for the traps to get, I wonder if that's real, true to life, because I, I never fished, obviously, with boogies like that, but, I don't know where it's in four, it's, I swear it's in something about four hours in the tutorial, that you have, like, after four hours, 20 hours being the best, the ultimate, the ultimate, the best time to do it, but, uh, hmm, huh. crazy. Well, I want to look at the log work real quick, see my certs, let's look at certs, okay, so we got 6.6 .6 out of 35, so we're not bad for the next boat up, of course, the money might be a problem, <laughs> if I don't get, if I don't get this fishing stuff going right, we're gonna have a money issue, um, Really small operation, one man operation. I'd give you really, it wouldn't be a bad living, I tell you, if you could make this kind of money. Nah, that money's gotta be way off. Because everybody would be doing the same thing if, you could, if it was that easy. You know, uh, if I go out and make $10,000 in a day, 60000 per owner, or whatever, you know, that's impossible in no way. The, the market would. They would flood the market, and the market would bring the price back down. So, which one's our dock? Is it right over here? Or is it in that little alcove? I think it might be in that alcove right there. Wow. I kind of like the way the boat leans to the side when, it, when, you, <laughs> when you're turning in. It's like a... Well, it is a round bottom boat, so... Look at that. A V. A v. What you call it? It's kind of uh, maybe it is a V, a V-shaped hull. So it would do that when you when you rock 12.7. And we're really killing it. Wow. Yes, yes. Down here, Jesus. Kind of don't like that hole. We should be able to park ourselves. You know, we should have to park ourselves. Like right here, I can do that. Like I can, get, I can get this boat in. I, in real life, I used to do it. I mean, it is a little sketch. Don't get me wrong. Well, you definitely don't want that much. Yep, that's the dock. I hold too. Right, but you can bumper when you're only going to cup. You know, one or two knots, you can bumper into the dock. It's not going to hurt that bad. That's what those rubber. Usually, they have all rubber on there. Anyway. Alright, so we're docked, so I guess we're just here to kill time, because there's really not much else we need to do. Uh, cancel, let me, let me go to the map real quick and see what time we had here. Alright, red, so two hours, we only kill, we need to kill about 18, maybe a little less, because we get maybe a little less than that. So we'll look to kill 17 hours, basically. Skip one week. Why would you do that? Um, here comes the rain again. Go 
efficient. Still okay. You were okay, I guess, right? Got yeah, 105 meters. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to repair this thing, so. I keep bumping the dock. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, we have to make a serious profit this time. No one's going around. Like, we ain't, we ain't a good haul. Buoys dead ahead. You want to grab the steering wheel there, miss? I mean, you're not I'm using my control in the steering. That was the other thing I want to tell you guys. <coughs> um, gutting apparently is easier if you do that in the bay, basically, because out here you have to account for. I guess the waves play a part in the gutting process. So if you wait till you get into the, oh, dude, it's amazing how far, how far. Okay. If you, um, right, no fish were caught. Look, what? Population. Oh man, we didn't sonar this. Look, oh my god, it's like a donut, so the center was a little. Whatever, dude, that was ridiculous. Um, yeah, so bring your fish in to gut, I guess is the well to the story. Oh, I'm gonna shoot this one a bit. I tell you, I better not get skunked on all these lines, dude. That would really suck big balls. <clears throat> They're showing fish on the sonar, so I don't know.
little bit more. Crap. Like that's a thing you can not get any fish at all. Like it's not like I went out to a, an empty area of the water. Oh, what are you doing? Come on. Come on, I can't navigate this thing. Got something. Well, I need to do this perfect. He went, like, moves my... S oh, my God. 103 redfish. I don't know. Something's blocking our way. I wonder what. A big piece of land, maybe? Alright. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna cut the video and then we'll. What the hell is that? Fresh. Fi oh. Oh. That's what that box. I was wondering what that box was for. I don't know why our lines weren't. It seemingly we had a fine spot to catch fish with and. Reset the lines and didn't, didn't catch anything, so <laughs> I don't even know if we're gonna have enough to cover the bait we just got, so whatever. I'll go turn this in. Call this fishing day another lesson learned. Oh, we still gotta cut him. Cut him. Fish. We better have a real good gutting session, boy, I'll tell you what. Get over here. Why 
don't think we should stop before we go. Can we stop and then do it over here, or can we do it over next to the dock? You can definitely see how that's what the brick walls do. They, they cut down the wave height. So once you're having a big storm or something, you're going to have pretty smooth water inside the brick walls. Yeah, where I used to live, we used to have the same thing. We had these big uh, sand, sand bars and brick walls. And that whole inner area was all glassy smooth a lot of times. Like, literally like glass. It looked just like this, kind of. It looks like glass, and you can just rip across it real cool. Pretty, pretty nice. But once you get outside the brake wall, that's a whole other story. Now you're bobbing and weaving all over the place. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> Once we get it figured out that when we're more efficient fishermen, we're kind of screwing things up right now, so... There's that. <laughs> Once I get better at it, what, what's got to be done? Let's see what happens. Alright, so we'll just pull up in here and we won't actually dock. Now we'll gut our fishies. Hopefully it's a lot better. Easier to, to fish to uh, gut. Mm -hmm. and get down to zero knots. All right. Start gutting. Whoa, dude! That thing ripped across there. Oh, it's a little smoother. For sure. I can do a very good job though. It's still fighting me, look. Alright. Two and a half stars. It's so hard to do. It feels the same to me, I don't know. It didn't really change. Alright, whatever. Let's dock. God, dude, we barely covered bait. There's 18, uh, 5,800. Yep. Terrible. Well, well, we didn't make some money because the bait cost us 6, we had 16,000 before it went out, and now we got 23, so I don't know. Anyway, that's the video for today. Another bad day of fish. <laughs> um, well, I guess. You know, we'll learn it. We'll get it while we go. Maybe I should watch some other videos and see what's going on. Get some get some lessons done. Um, but anyway, that's it for me, your boy Chief here. Signing out for the day. This will be video four of their video four Let's Play series on Baron Sea Fishing. Uh, make sure to come by and check us out tomorrow. We'll have a new video up for, running for you, or a couple. And if you like the content and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe hit the bell notification so you can get updates of when i put out a new video do me a favor and smash that like button and uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any concerns or anything you want to talk i'll be sure to answer those as best i can anyway this is your boy chief signing out have a good one guys